I gotta shine on and get through the storm. Suck up the pain and never conform. Never conform. I gotta be moving to the bottom. Now I'm aiming as high as I can see. Oh, we I gotta shine on and get through the storm. Suck up the pain and never conform. What up, YouTube? Topaz Yates back with another requested review, and this one is to. Tony Why Not and Pablo Neruda Beneath the Surface 2 and what this is is these two artists from Atlanta and Pittsburgh coming together making a declaration that they're more about the art of hip hop instead of the whole competition and I feel them 100% because you see in the hip hop game and such man on the underground especially that it's crab in the bill mentalities type shit like everybody's hating on each other so nobody can rise the fuck up everybody's trying to compete against each other thinking that I'm the best and you guys aren't so therefore I'm going to shine over top of you when the game is not really about that. What the game is really about is building your audience, building your fan base, selling your shit to the audience, doing performances, building up your fucking bucks. So therefore getting involved in these petty competitions that don't really mean nothing is more self-destructive to the underground MC than anything. So I'm absolutely with them. And another thing I really like about this project is that it shows you that all this from Atlanta on all on that trap shit and Pittsburgh too because I know only people hear about Wiz Khalifa out of Pittsburgh but I follow a bunch of Pittsburgh artists and you hear a lot of the same types of music out of Pittsburgh that you hear in Atlanta and shit right now. But this project has more of a soulful hip hop feel to it and such proving to you that you can find any type of music no matter where you go. Not one place is dedicated to just one damn sound, even in Chicago. Not everything is fucking drill music. This is completely produced by one producer, JB Beats. Now the problem that I have with this project as a whole though, is the fact that you guys are really focusing heavily on your lyrics that you guys are spitting here. But yet, as you break down each of you individually, that's not your strips. Like, what your strips really need to be is focusing on the best core songs possible that you can put out instead of trying to showcase lyrics that you are not specializing in. And we see that all the way through this project, man, starting with Up. What this track is is pretty much built-in wordplay. Like, you look at songs in the past like Oh Boy from Cameron and shit. Same exact concept. Pretty much in the beat they're saying oh boy so every time oh boy happened these rappers Cameron and Joel Santana tried to put that in a different light and such you guys are doing the same exact thing but your tone is up and this is one of the more difficult things to do to actually have the kind of vocabulary that every time a repetitive beat continues to say up to have something completely unique different to say that's kind of hot and because of how difficult it is you can honestly see that the execution just wasn't there for this track the next track ahead is pretty much punchline rap you guys are trying to deliver the best punch lines that you have in order to showcase your rhymes and to show that you are so far ahead from the rest and such and that your talents could never be duplicated man and again it falls flat because that's really what you're focusing on but you're not really that damn strong at it. That cool motherfucker is another lyrically focused track but I do feel as though this is one of the better produced tracks on the whole project man. Black Brain is pretty much the only concept track that you guys did throughout this entire project. Project, man. And what you guys are rapping about is the mentality of the black man and I feel as though because you guys had something to rap about you went on ahead and got you a lesser type of beat so people will more focus on what you're saying than actually just jam out to the music and that's a core mistake. Another thing in which this is me just kind of nitpicking man I kind of just do not agree with a lot of the things that you're saying because yes there's a lot of lost souls of all kind and such man but overall I know a lot of upstanding black people as well. Not all of us are criminal minded and shit. But you know, that's just my preferences, my thoughts about the whole thing. Now that Shine On is the best track on this project, period, man. Not only did you guys create the perfect hook to go with some excellent production here. But then on top of it, what you're rapping about is the status of the game of how everybody is so focused on trap music, how they're overhyping being in the trap and drug dealing and all of that shit, and how it's not going to 
phase you how you're going to shine through all of that shit doing you and that is an important thing that most underground rappers have to understand like the amount of time that you're going to spend on trying to sound like what the popular sound is by the time you get any recognition for it, the sound is already going to be fucking changed so therefore you're wasting time chasing after what the game is doing instead of just doing what you do and bringing attention to you by that everything about that track is a plus man and that should be really the blueprint for you guys moving forward you feel me i mean literally we are all pushing to get better we're all trying to use better punchlines metaphors wordplay and all of that man but until you reach that level where that is your main speciality man you cannot make a full project based around it you should focus on the sincerity and the greatness of your songs and then when you reach that point where you're literally prolific enough to hang with the best of them i mean we all never want to compare ourselves to the tops of say kendrick to j cole to all of these rappers and shit but it's a reality that that's the standard that you have to reach if you want to focus your music around your lyrics so until you reach that man focus on making the best songs possible bringing in your audience promoting your own shit Overall, I enjoyed this project, but off that shine on alone, man, I know you guys can come much stronger. So I definitely recommend everybody out there, go ahead, peep this out. The link to it is in the description below, man. Go ahead, send them your own comments and tell them how you feel as though they can become better. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.